If you had a relationship with your ex where you never fought ever, and then one day out of the blue, they broke up with you, watch this video. I talk to people every day, all day, and something that's very, very common is like, hey, you know, for the first three months plus, or whatever the time limit was, yeah, everything was perfect, and we, by the way, we never fought, we hung out all day, every day, talked to each other all day on the phone, and then one day out of the blue, they broke up with me. And a lot of times when people tell me the story, they think that they're expressing to me you know, this extreme mystery. It's like, man, like everything was perfect. How can all of a sudden we break up when we had all this evidence of how everything was perfect? And when I hear that story, I hear a lot of red flags. And let me explain. So first off, just about any two people that are attracted to each other can make it through three months. The reason is, is because the body is flooding itself with chemicals, feel good chemicals during that time frame. It's the honeymoon phase, okay? So almost anybody can make it through the honeymoon phase, number one as long as there's attraction there. Number two, people are biting their tongue about shit that annoys them, right? The way that that girl chews this way or the way that the dude snores in his sleep, whatever, people bite their tongue about this stuff and it doesn't really come out until after about the three month mark where the honeymoon uh, phase wears off. And the last thing is people hide the skeletons in their closet, okay? This stuff starts to come out after about the three month mark. And again, because the chemicals wore off and now it's time to get down to real life, um, people will start to divulge information about themselves that they might have otherwise been hiding. So if everything was perfect for three months, it doesn't necessarily mean that much. Now, if you never ever fought, to me, again, that's a red flag because you should be communicating things to each other, especially after the three month mark, that annoy you. You should communicate your frustrations. You should also be having boundaries, okay? And communicate your needs to your partner. And sometimes these are gonna trigger the other person. Right? It's why people avoid it during the beginning phases, so that way you can establish the connection. So if you're not fighting, what that tells me is that at least one party was not speaking up for their needs okay, or their boundaries. And then by the time they finally did, that other person was like, whoa, 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 this doesn't feel good anymore. And they cut and run. Lastly, if you're talking all day, every day, again, it's a sign of interest, of course, but it's not necessarily a sign of two healthy people that have independently happy involved lives in terms of business, uh, friend group, um, fitness, etc. You should have other things going on. And if you don't, that's probably one of the things that played in to the breakup because people want to be with people that have their own shit going on. Now, just because there was problems doesn't mean that you can't do anything about it to put it back together. And if you also want to make sense of your specific situation, what you can do is click into my profile, click this link down here, get in touch with me, and let's have a conversation about your situation, and I'll tell you what to do next.